Do you have a dream? Dreams are very important. As a person, it's necessary to have a dream in life. We all need somewhere to head to or something to believe in. Dreams are like a compass that tells us what direction or way to go to. We might not have the same dream that carried with us when we were little. After all, we are always evolving and growing as people. Without a dream, where are we heading? Whether your dream is related to your career or a personal mission, believing in something and wanting to achieve brings with a certain enthusiasm for life. Your dreams are what can get you through even the worst days. So please live your dream. What if all of us took that attitude after we face a rejection and a no or we have a meeting and no one shows up or somebody say you can count on me and they don't come through. What if we have that kind of attitude, the cars repossessed, nobody believes in you, you've lost again and again and again, the lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win. Life will yield to you. It's possible. I can live my dream. It's necessary. I work on myself, surround myself with winners, become creative. It's me. I've got to make it happen. It's not over until I win. The next thing that's important to know, yes, it's possible that you can choose your future and direct the course of your life as you run toward your dream. It's necessary that you have goals, that you write those goals down, that you plan, that you think constantly of how you can begin to improve what it is that you're doing. If it's your presentations, if it's your recruiting skills, whatever that is, it's also necessary that you look for ways to always find a way to pull it out when everybody else thinks that you are defeated. That you've got to take personal responsibility to know that in order to become successful, you've got to make it your personal business to do it. I do not believe that any of us have dreams that were not given to us for the purpose of accomplishing those particular dreams. And I want to share something with you that has changed my life. I started out as was indicated by Jack. It's very humble beginnings. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't ha care how far-fetched it might appear to be. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know, that that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible that I can have my dream as we run toward it, as we work on it day in and day out. No one could have convinced me when I started out just over six years ago working on my dream and I want you to think about whatever your dream is because I was willing to take a chance and most people won't do that. Most of the people that you talk to to try and bring them into the business, these are not risk takers. Most people have done all that they're ever going to do. They raise a family, they earn a living and then they die. But people who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. And here's what I will share with you, that in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances, that you don't have to go through life being a victim. I want you to look at something right now. Think of some major goal you want, or maybe it's one you're already working on, and you have experienced a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. You've experienced a lot of disappointment. Maybe you've already given up. And maybe you just need a little fire, a little encouragement to get back in the game again. Here's what I want you to look at. There are winners, there are losers, and there are people who have not discovered how to win. And all they need is some coaching. All they need is some help and assistance, just a little support. All they need is some insight or a different strategy, a plan of action to make some adjustments that will open up the key to a whole new future for them, that will give them access to the unlimited power that they have within themselves. That's all that they need. So what I want you to do is, is think about something you want for you, that's real for you, that's important for you, that will give your life some special meaning and power. And I don't even want you to say, I can do that. I don't want you to assume that. 
I don't want you to begin to just psych yourself out. No, no. I want you to be able to say something to yourself that will enable you to maintain a level of integrity with yourself. That when you say this, even when you face tremendous setbacks, it, it will be a benchmark to keep you in the game, to keep you moving forward and experimenting and readjusting your strategy and your plan of action continuously, looking for ways to win. So what is that something? When you got an idea, you want to move on. You might not have the money, you might not have the education, you might not have the support or the resources you need. What is that something that can keep us going, that will enable us to act on our dream? What's one of those keys that will begin to help us to discover the secrets to our dream? You say to yourself every day, it's possible. You say that every day to yourself, it's possible. Because what does that do? See, it begins to change your belief system. 